Welcome, chess aficionados and those who thought this was a cooking show. Today, we're diving into the Levergreen game, a game so famous it's practically a chess celebrity. Let's break down the Levergreen game with a comment for each move. This classic chess encounter was played between Adolf Andersen and Jean Dufresne in 1852. The game is known for its aggressive play and spectacular finish. Starting off with e4 and e5. That's like saying hello in chess language. Friendly, but you know things are about to get serious. NF3 and NC6, classic nights out. They're like the eager students in class, always raising their hands first. BC4 and BC5, introducing the bishops. They're on the board like, don't forget about us, we're long-range snipers. B4, the Evans Gambit. Anderson's like, I'm here to win, not to knit. And Dufresne's like, free pawn? Don't mind if I do. C3, asking the bishop on a5, would you kindly move? But the bishop's like, I'm good here, thanks. D4, attacking the center. It's like the first big plot twist in a movie. Anderson castles. Safety first, like buckling your seatbelt. And Dufresne's d3 is like a sneaky counter move whispering, I'm not that easy to beat. Qb3, the queen enters, aiming directly at f7. Dufresne's qf6 is like saying, two can play this game. e5, and the tension's building up like in a thriller movie. Qg6, Dufresne's queen is out for a stroll, maybe a bit too bold. It's like Anderson saying, it's show time. Ng7, Dufresne's knight is like, better late than never. Anderson's pieces are more coordinated than a flash mob. B5, Dufresne's trying to deflect like, look over there. Qx B5, and the queen takes a pawn. It's like taking candy from a baby. Rb8, Dufresne's rook is finally in the game, saying, let me at M. Qa4, retreating, but still in control. Bb6, Dufresne's bishops like, I'm not trapped, I'm just strategically placed. NBD2, Anderson's developing like a master chef adding spices to a dish. BB7, Dufresne's bishop lines up, aiming at G2. Watch out! NE4, Anderson's knight jumps into action. Dufresne's counter is like, I've got some tricks up my sleeve too. Anderson is leaving a trail of captured pieces behind him. It's like a chess crime scene. QH5, Dufresne's queen's flirting with danger. It's like texting your ex, risky business. NF6, and Anderson's bringing the heat. GXF6, Dufresne's like, this is fine, in a room that's clearly on fire. X6, and the pawns are ticking time bomb. Dufresne's like, let's trade punches. The white rook, feeling a bit left out, finally makes its move, yelling, Wait, don't forget about me. Looks like the queen just hosted a midnight snack. Anderson throws his rook into the fire, and Dufresne's king is like, I didn't sign up for this barbecue. The queen is in the mix, and Dufresne's king is running a marathon. I'm just trying to stay alive here. White's bishop and rook have joined forces for a royal check on the black king. The regal retreat. He's taking a break from the chess drama to attend a royal spa day. The white bishop's back in the comedy club, serving up checks to the black king. The black king tries a backward dance move, but the chessboard is no disco. Hold on to your crowns. The second bishop just crashed the party and checkmated the black king. It's like a chess comedy where the punchline is, checkmate, your majesty, two bishops walk into a kingdom. So, there you have it. The evergreen game a chess masterpiece with more twists and turns than a roller coaster at Chesneyland. Remember, in chess, as in comedy, timing is everything. Until next time, keep your kings safe and your humor sharp.